What's on, ladies and gentlemen? My name's Ross. I like games. And today, I mean, look, I'm very croaky, all right? I'm sorry about that. I was at the Pokemon World Championships this weekend. I was on the commentary team for the trading card game. It was awesome. But while I was at the Pokemon World Championships doing my commentary thing, croaking up my voice, Wolverine got revealed. So what am I going to do? Not show you Wolverine? No, ladies and gentlemen, that's not going to happen. Uh, my apologies, it's a little bit late. But as I said, very, very busy. Uh, and my apologies for being a little bit croaky during this video. But there's no way I'm waiting any longer to show you Wolverine. Because Wolverine looks awesome. I told you when it was revealed, and I meant this sincerely. The Sinister Motives, the Spider-Man box, was the most excited I'd been about Marvel Champions, and I meant it incidentally. But in terms of play style, this is the most exciting hero I've seen so far. This is right up my alley. I am an aggressive player generally in every card game. This is an aggression pack, but oh, what an aggression pack we've got. So Logan comes in with six recovery, which is absurdly high. It's like double most characters. But again, it's Wolverine. Wolverine recovers. And during setup, you search your deck and discard pile for Wolverine's claws and put it into play. Wolverine's claws is permanent. And you can exhaust Wolverine's claws. Choose an attack event in your hand. You take damage equal to the printed play cost rather than actually paying it. Oh, and against piercings, you can go through toughness. It's Wolverine. Piercing should be a given. So yeah. Instead of paying free cost to play an event, you take free damage. But again, you've got very high recovery. But then you've also got Wolverine itself. Now, two fort, two attack, two defense, all fairly standard. I should have mentioned hit points of 10, which aren't great. But after the player phase begins, heal two damage. You heal two damage at the start of your phase every turn regardless, and you've got a recovery of six. You're probably going to be fine. Now... It's Wolverine, and this card pack does an excellent job of making Wolverine into Wolverine. So the two-cost upgrade Animantium Skeleton gives you plus four hit points, and then plus one attack, and piercing, which is amazing on your basic attack. Regenerative Healing is a one-cost event that lets you either heal four damage, or discard each stunned and confused status card. Sounds good to me. I got better says that when you would be defeated by an attack, you discard the upgrade and go to 5 hit points instead. We've seen cards like this before. I love the whole, if you would be defeated, ah, it's fine, just go back to half health. Because it sucks when you get an, un well, an unforeseen card that makes you end the game. This gets you around it very nicely. Berserker Barrage is a 2 cost event. Lets you deal 4 damage to an enemy. And if you defeat that enemy, you can take 2 damage. And deal another 4 damage to an enemy. And I love this. This is Wolverine. All of this just feels like Wolverine. Taking lots of damage because it's fine. I can heal it later. Going into fights and keeping going into other fights. Lots of piercing. Lots of healing. I mean, it feels like Wolverine. The designers do a great job all the time. Of making the heroes feel like the heroes. And I think Wolverine is one of the best jobs we've seen. And sure, on the one hand... Yes, Wolverine's got healing and aggression and piercing and fine. Maybe Wolverine's so iconic that it's a bit easier on this one. But I don't even care because the designers have done a phenomenal job of making this feel like Wolverine. And I am into it. Slice and Dice is a free cost event that deals free damage to an enemy. And then free damage to an enemy. This is important because it means you could just do six to an enemy or you could do three to two different ones. I like that. Lunging Strike is a free cost event, lets you deal 8 damage to an enemy, and if you exhausted Wolverine's Claws to play this card, you gain Overkill as well. So if you defeat a minion, you can then put the extra damage onto the villain, which is good. Track by Scent is a 2 cost event, remove 3 threat from a scheme, and if this removes the last threat from that scheme, draw 2 cards. So it essentially ends up becoming a free card. Which I absolutely adore. And of course Wolverine's scent of smell is not the most famous thing about Wolverine. But it is something I love seeing represented here. Now we said that Wolverine's an aggressive deck. Obviously it comes out the box as aggression. And we've got the one cost upgrade Battle Fury. 
Now it is max one per player, but after your hero attacks and defeats a minion, deal one damage to your hero, discard Battle Fury, and ready your hero. It's a one cost upgrade that at some point lets you ready. That is great. Precision Strike is a one cost event that deals two damage to an enemy, but if you defeat the enemy, you heal two damage as well, which is lovely. Mean Swing is a zero cost event. When your hero makes a basic attack, exhaust a weapon upgrade on your hero to get plus three attack. Basically, it's an extra free attack for zero, but you've got to exhaust a weapon upgrade to do so. Now, obviously that would include Wolverine's Claws, but then again, that's got other reasons why you would want to exhaust it. So I'm gonna let you figure that one out on a turn-by-turn -turn basis, but you could play other weapon upgrades as well. Now, Warrior Skill is a two-cost upgrade, and you put three Warrior Counters on, and when your hero attacks, you remove a Warrior Counter to deal one additional damage. So essentially, it's one additional damage for the next three attacks. It's fine. It's cool. It's not the most exciting card in the set, but it still looks fun. Now, Psylocke comes in as an ally here. Two fort, one attack, taking one damage for each. Four cost, three health. And she enters play with two psionic counters on her. And when she attacks an enemy, remove one psionic counter, confuse them, and deal a damage. So the first two attacks of Psylocke aren't one damage. They're two damage plus confusion. That is going to be very, very good. Colossus comes in as a four cost basic ally here. Four cost free health, although it's only a free cost if your identity has mutant or X-Men trait. Obviously comes in with toughness, it's Colossus. And then you've got one thwart, taking one damage, or free attack, taking two damage. So often you'll attack once for free damage, and then you'll do the whole defending. But the first time you defend, you've got toughness. So dealing free damage and then defending two attacks for a free cost, yes. I will take that. But come on, Colossus and Wolverine, you've got to have the fastball special, and we do. It's a team up with Colossus and Wolverine, and you deal X damage to an enemy, where X is the total attack of Colossus and Wolverine. So you can either just use the Colossus ally I just showed you, or you can go to Mutant Genesis, the X-Men box, where you will, of course, have a Colossus character, Colossus hero. So you can go Colossus and Wolverine. You had to have the... F and this is what I mean about this being a really well-designed pack in terms of showing love for Wolverine. Because you've got to have the fastball specialist. Got to be in there. Now, with some of the more recent packs, when they're announced, they're not telling us about these modular encounter sets, but they are here. We've got Lady Deathstrike, a six-health elite minion, one scheme, two attack with quick strike. She attacks as soon as she comes out. And after Lady Deathstrike attacks and damages a character, that character's owner discards one random card from their hand. Yeah, sounds harsh. Is pretty harsh. Remember, it's a modular encounter, so it, it's basically just use it wherever. Could come in here. Doesn't have to. But it is important to note that it's just nice to have. And Lady Deathstrike, Wolverine... Come on, had to be done. You've then got Adamantium Upgrade. It's an attachment that gives plus two attack and piercing, though you can spend an energy, science, and physical resource to discard it. And then you've got Hack and Slash, a treachery card that makes you reveal a random card from your hand and discard it and take damage equal to the number of printed resources on it, which is mean. Oh, and as a boost, it does the same thing, which is, um, yeah, Honestly, kind of mean. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. I am sorry it took me a couple of days to get to Wolverine after the reveal. Frankly, I was at Worlds, and I was casting, and I was a very, very busy boy. And I didn't have time to do it, and that makes me sad. But please know, as soon as I got back, like the first day I'm home, I'm making this video, even though my voice is clearly not holding up great. So I'm hoping that at least makes a bit of a difference. For now, ladies and gentlemen, I want to know what you think about Wolverine. I absolutely love it. I think it's amazing. I, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. In terms of play style, this makes me happy. Obviously, I'm a Wolverine fan. Everyone's a Wolverine fan. I like Spider-Man more than Wolverine. I think I've made that pretty clear. But make no mistake about it, 
in terms of play style, I am going to play Wolverine way more than most characters. This should be up there with characters like Spider-Woman and Doctor Strange in terms of how much I just adore playing them. This makes me very, very, very happy indeed. But now, of course, it's over to you guys. I want to know what you think about this. I don't want to know how excited you are. I want to know anything you want to tell me. So go nuts in the comment section, would you? But be nice. And then make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at the Wasi. That's where we talk about Marvel Champions and a bunch of other card games. And please do consider checking out patreon.com slash ptcgradio, where you can support the channel, get some bonus podcasts, all kinds of fun things. But by far the most important thing as always, look after yourselves till next time, would ya? Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross, and you've been watching Wassy Plays.